Hey guys. Uh, it's been the longest time. Literally, I think this might be the longest I've ever taken like off from doing YouTube videos. So yeah, this feels very weird talking to the camera right now. I'm all like out of my zone. <laughs> so yeah, the, literally the last video I ended up posting was the birth of my son, which is like coming up to nine months ago now. So yeah, extremely long time, but I just felt like it was needed. Um, I always thought that I was going to do like YouTube videos and I'd do all the vlogs and like the updates and the clothing hauls and like just all of the mum type of stuff. I thought I was going to do all of that but in reality I ended up just needing to like be a mum. Um, I just didn't want to focus on anything else. I didn't want to stress myself out. Yeah I didn't did I? No. Yeah I didn't want to stress myself out with anything. I didn't want to just be like taking any time away from him. Um, so yeah, we just did our own thing, didn't we? So he's getting pretty fussy just lying on my lap now. So shall we sit you up? Yeah, shall we? Pokey, pokey, come. <gasps> Hello, boo. Say hello. <gasps> Say hello. Hi. <laughs> he's um got his favourite baby sensory video on. Yeah, you have, haven't you? He's got his favourite baby sensory video on. So we're keeping him occupied whilst we have him on my lap. Um, but yeah, yeah, so this is Sage, Sage Luca Quinn. He is eight and a half months old and he's a very big boy. He's not a little newborn. I am kind of sad that like I didn't really film any of that. I did film like an eight week, um, I think it was eight weeks old morning routine and like I half edited it, but my laptop is honestly just really, really bad and I just haven't got around to even thinking about buying a new one. So yeah, I kind of just like half edited that and never completed it and I kept on like going to do it and I kept going to do this video. I was meant to do this video at like six months old. Um, so yeah, it's taken me a long time to get around to it, hasn't it? But yeah, we're here now. I think he thinks I'm very weird talking to the camera because he knows I'm not talking to him. And he's like, what is going on? Yeah, what is going on? Um, yeah. So. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I don't know how long I've got because he's getting a little moody. But I am going to upload that eight week uh, morning routine just because I want the memories and stuff like that. Um, and I don't know. I think it'll be cute just for like, you to see his little cute self when he was all tiny and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, it will. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to upload that. And I think, just to make it all quick, we will get into updates for hey. him now. Yeah, updates for you. So, obviously, as you can see, he's standing. <laughs> he's been trying to stand since, like, four and a half months old. And he kind of, like, <laughs> did. Obviously, with our help of, like, holding him up and stuff. Yeah, but now he's doing it all on his own. He's like couch surfing, I think that's what they call it. He's couch surfing everywhere, <gasps> getting into everything, can't you? Yeah, and he's crawling as well very quickly. Um, obviously, you can sit up and do all of that. Um, he's still breastfeeding exclusively, so it's not too bad anymore. It did get to a point where it was like a bit too much, so we had to like gently sleep train him basically and it weren't too bad in all honesty he like from the second night he was going down on his own so that was a big improvement from like what he was like before he was let's just say he was a up every hour type of baby before so it's very nice <laughs> that you finally sleep now isn't it <laughs> yeah you get all the sleep that you need now yeah um what else what else so he loves baby sensory. Yeah, that's his favourite thing to watch. Yeah, you like bouncing. Yeah. You can say no. Can you say no? Can you do no? No, yeah. <laughs> can you wave? Wave, say hello. No. Can't always get that one. In all honesty, that one's just like, that one's up to him if he waves or not. <laughs> you can say mama. Uh, uh, um, lovely. Can you say mama? No. He can. <laughs> mama was his first word to say. Um, I didn't end up jotting any of it down. It would, like, properly in, like, my book. Which is really sad because I'm really looking forward to writing everything down in my book. I just... Mum brain, I couldn't even think about doing that. Yeah, 
Um, so I think he was like seven months old when he started saying mama. And then he started saying dada like a week ago or something. So that's really cute. He said dada. He said dada, dada, dada. What were we saying? So yeah, he can say no. Sometimes he says yes, but that's a bit like meh. Um, can say mama, can say dada, can wave. Uh, can do all the fun stuff, yeah? Yeah, like I said, still best feeding. Um, yeah, but he is on like proper food now. Um, I think he started having purees from like four and a half ish months old. I did want to wait until six months, but he's like a proper foodie, and it was getting to the point where he was like literally stealing our food like constantly and still is. Um, so we thought we'd try it out, and it was just like a lot better for him. It was helping him sleep and all that type of stuff. So yeah we um he's been on puree since like four and a half months old and then we started him on we've kind of always done a bit of solids but i started him properly on introducing solids at about six and a half months old so yeah now we do a mixture um it gets to the point now where like he wants to feed himself so even if I've got a pureed thing for him with a spoon he'll just steal the spoon out my hand because he wants to do it himself. Yeah, he's like the biggest foodie ever, he literally eats so much and would just eat constantly all day every day if he could. He's also got like the cutest little personality, not that he's showing it right now because he's getting quite agitated that I'm not letting him just go around and play. Um, but he ends up finding like words really funny. So I think his first word that he started laughing at just randomly was bonk. So if you say bonk to him, then he used to laugh. Then it was the sound of duck. So quack, 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 quack. <laughs> and then yeah, like random words like Shrewsbury. He'll just like start laughing his head off. So I think that it's like the cutest little thing about him. He loves his baths. Um, just like his mum. <laughs> so yeah, we um, we love bath time. And he loves going on walks and looking at all the trees and the clouds and the birds and all that type of stuff. So yeah, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut it short now because he's getting pretty irritable with me not letting him do anything. Um, so yeah, I might, if I can, give you a quick update. Mama, yeah. Mama, yes, mama. <laughs> yeah, and he says mama when he wants me to do something for him. Yeah. Or for food. Yeah, mama means food. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna let him play as much as I can because he is gonna like steal the tripod from me. Um actually I'll give him some food. Brilliant mama idea. Two seconds, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so he's got food, so he's happy. I'll insert a little footage of him here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd just do like a quick tiny little update on like me in general. Um obviously I haven't been posting to YouTube, I don't really post to Instagram apart from just to like post little updates to Sage. I do have like a whole other separate account which I'll like right here. Um it's completely different like type of uploads that I post to my other account and to YouTube and stuff like that. So, yeah, very different, completely separate to all of this. So, yeah, I'm just going to link it there. But yeah, so I've basically just been, like, focusing on me, focusing on Sage and just, like, raising him. Um, the only other thing that we've really been doing is that me and Ethan started up our own business called Shamba Moon. So, I'll insert some pictures and I'll, like, show you the products in a second. But, yeah, we... It was actually something that I started, like, well started thinking of like back when I was uploading to YouTube I actually remember the video I think it was a heart to heart or something like that or the video after that so yeah in that video I was basically saying that like I feel like there's more to YouTube and other things that I could be doing like job wise and like what I was really hinting at was Shamba Moon so basically it's a shop where we sell bath bombs and candles and all that type of stuff but they're like crystal infused and they have botanicals and we also make them for like a specific manifestation obviously like you'll have seen in like the previous videos that i've uploaded i've got into like 
yeah <laughs> I got into like the spiritual side of things so I really wanted to incorporate that and just like help other people who are either already in the practice or are starting to get into it and they just want something that's like quick and easy and also like on the self-care side of things because you guys know I love my baths you know I love all the candles and all of that type of stuff so I just wanted to do something that was like aligned with that type of stuff so i'm going to show you the first collection that we brought out um we've had two collections so far one was a winter one so it's like not in stock at the minute and um, we've got a new collection coming out very soon we're going to start making it up and all that type of fun stuff so yeah first collection is a self-love collection the self-love bath bomb and candle look like these this is the tin candle we also have a glass candle that i'll show you in a minute but this is our bath bar. I'm going to put this down. So I don't want to take it out of the tin because I don't want to touch it. But this is what our self-love bath bar looks like. So it's super pretty. Just a really light pink colour on the inside. Got a rose quartz crystal. Rose petals. And then there's like a fun little surprise on the inside. So yeah, literally love this. So proud of like our little design so yeah the bath bomb is what inspired the whole of the collection so yeah i had to make sure that it was the perfect little thing we then have the tin candle um again it was one of the main things that was like the inspiration for shamba moon just having a candle and a bath bomb so that you can have all of the things that you need to have a really really nice bath all of these products the self-love ones i've got a sweet rose flavor so it's a mixture of marshmallow vanilla and a little bit of rose so yeah everybody loves the scent who's tried it so far and i can't lie it just literally smells like so nice um but yeah this is the glass candle so yeah then just have some baths we have a herbal infused oil that is infused with rose petals lavender and chamomile and again, this has a different scent to everything else, but it smells so nice. It's just like a really subtle, sweet type of smell. So yeah, I love this oil. This is like the thing that I use the most. And we also do cleansing sticks that have a crystal attached to them as well, if this will focus. Yeah, so these are homegrown in our garden. This one is sage and rosemary with a little bit of lavender. I think, I'm not too sure, I can't remember now. But yeah, it's got the rose quartz crystal on it, so that is why it's included in the self love collection. We only have like a few of the cleansing sticks though, because obviously we have to wait for them to actually grow. Um, so yeah, we also have bath salts, but I don't have any of them to show you at the minute. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you all of the products so you could actually have a look like up close and personal of what they all look like. Um, I'm going to link the Instagram here as well in case you want to check it out and see all of the other little things that we do. We also do like custom candles and stuff which is actually that one that's burning there. Um, we sell crystals and yeah sometimes we just upload random like bath bomb things. Like I said we're going to upload, like I said we're going to be having a new collection out soon as well so yeah i just thought i'd give you the updates on my two babies at the minute <laughs> and yeah i think i need to go now though um just finished his food he's gonna start getting frustrated at me he's already rocking in his chair so yeah yeah <laughs> But anyways, it's been really nice talking to you. It feels really weird just like sitting down and talking with the camera again. So I hope this was as good as what the other videos used to be. And yeah, hopefully I will get the eight week morning routine uploaded soon. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing with videos. My idea is that like every now and then I might do like a routine video because those were like the most fun videos that I like doing and it also seems like they're the ones that like you guys prefer the most so we will see we will see um we're trying to move out at the minute we're still at my mum's house so things are getting very cramped and crowded in here um we've just got loads and loads of stuff because just say she's growing and he needs more and more things all the time so I feel like until we move out, I can't really even think about doing any other videos at the minute. But that's where my head's at. So yeah, we will see. Just uh, keep an eye out and see if we've got any other videos coming out. And yeah, like I said, it was really nice talking to you. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching, especially since it's been like so long since I uploaded a video. So if you've watched 
<laughs> but if you've watched it means a lot that you're still interested in what i'm posting um yeah i'm gonna stop babbling now i hope you had a really good day i hope you really like the video i hope you like seeing little baby sage and yeah i will see you soon whenever i decide to upload next bye guys <laughs>